They say my name when I'm in the club, I take my chains out. I come up short when it comes to love, it's like I ran out. When I take these drugs, I take no risk, my eyes get planned out. Got me the pain on me, so I can't stand out. Got me the pain on me, so I had like a man out. Got me the pain on me, so I had like a man out. Alright, so as you guys can tell by the title of the video, this is the Silver's Suspension Review. If you have not seen the installation and unboxing video, I'll like throw up a thing or it'll for sure be linked in the description. Alright, before we go into this video, you know, on this channel everything is uh, super transparent and I keep it 100 on here. 50 times 2, 25 times 4, do the math on it. I reached out to Silver's, they sent me these uh, coilovers for a video at a discounted price. Whenever I reached out to them, um, I told them I'll do a review video. I told them that it had, they had to be okay with me being 100% uh, honest because I don't lie to my audience. That's exactly what they wanted. So I was like super happy with whenever companies say that, they themselves believe that they make a good product. So um, I got my iPad, you know, cause I'm organized and I'm so professional. On go company is super professional. So before I got my silvers, I was actually on um, Raceland. So it's like an eBay type eBay type coilover. So basically, I'm comparing what I used to have to these silvers. It is crazy how much better quality. I was super hyped before I even the second I opened it. I was super hyped. So yeah. Okay. So the coilover kit that I got was a normal kit in the front. You know, standard height and then a super low rear. We'll get more into that throughout the video, but I just want to let y'all know. All right, so some of the things that I'm going to touch on in this video is the presentation, how it showed up, how it was packaged, uh, the build quality, the install, the ride quality, the price, uh, the shipping time, and the customer service. So jumping straight into it, presentation. I did a video. I'm pretty sure I showed it on the actual install video, but I definitely showed it on my TikTok. Um, showed up you know normal box um, and then the the actual box inside of the box the shipping box you know so it was nice you know got their silvers on there um, you know got the bubble wrap got instruction got your tools um, tools that I mean like like uh, adjusting you know the the collar wrench or whatever um, so yeah presentation was super good um, nothing came damaged they wrapped everything up super well so that's super professional. Straight into the, the build quality. Build quality was dope. Um, the welds, like I looked at it as soon as I opened it. Um, I don't know how to weld, but you know, just from seeing videos, I, I guess that those were good welds. It looked good to me. Everything looked smooth or whatever. They welded it and I guess sanded it down. Everything was painted. Um, had their like, you know, logo sticker on there. So the build quality looked sick. The silver is just like the top hat looks so much better quality like the overall like the coils look like thicker the rear shock look you know is actually adjustable compared to like my ebay ones which aren't and they're just adjustable in the actual like spring perch yeah so this has got like the sag adjustment to where like if you lift up the rear your, your wheels aren't going to sag all the way and it might even like your spring might come out like it'll hold it to a limit where it's not going to like come down any further than what you have set on the the actual um what is that called on the actual threads so yeah all right install was super simple everything fit perfectly it wasn't like i had to modify anything i don't know that anyone has ever had an experience like that with coilovers but i'm just letting y'all know that these came perfect super easy to put on just like any other coilover. So the only thing that I do have to say um, was it caught me by surprise. Whenever I got to install in it, the reason why I told you guys earlier in the video that I got the super low kit in the rear and the standard in the front was because a buddy of mine actually had the super low in the front and he runs an SLR kit and the actual um, bottom mount of the coilover was hitting his SLR kit. So he had to get a standard to be able to go higher. But basically he gave me the super low bottom mount and said, look, get the standard. And then if you want to go lower, 
you can just throw in these bottom mounts. And that's exactly what I did, but I didn't want to be too high in the rear. So I asked them if they could do like a half and half, like if I could get a um, super low rear. And that's what they sent me. But whenever I installed it in the rear um, with no adjustable perch, it wasn't as low as I expected. I was lower before, but I guess that does go into play that my suspension could have been blown, the, the previous suspension. Yeah, they were six inch, I believe. I thought that the super low kit maybe came with a five inch. Maybe they didn't send me a super low rear, but that's fine because they do offer you the option to order like Swift Springs um, for the rear and you can get in them in five inch, four inch. Um, so yeah, if, if I do in the, the future end up deciding that I do wanna go even lower in the rear, um, I'll just order some four or five inch springs. So something that caught me by surprise whenever um, I was installing was that the standard kit does not come preloaded. Um, that's not a huge deal. It's not like they keep it hidden. If you read it on their website, they say that it does not come preloaded. You just gotta do it yourself. They actually explain it too, um, which is not hard. All you have to do is basically, it, it comes with like space in the spring between the collars and the spring. So you just tighten it up. They say that they want you to like keep it just tightened to break them in and then you like preload some load on there. But I just went ahead and I forgot the, the distance, um, the length that you do. I think it may be a couple millimeters or maybe an inch. But basically that was the only thing that caught me off, off guard was um, that you had to preload them yourself. It's not crazy. They let you know on the website. It was just that that's what caught me off guard. All right, so then um, ride quality. We're actually going to jump in the car and do this ride quality because I'm going to talk while I'm driving. And then we'll hop right back over here. All right, so we're in the car now. Um, I'm not going to do any drifting because I already, you know, did two, two events on these uh, coilovers. You can go back and watch those videos if you'd like. I definitely think that I've, I've driven on these coilovers long enough. You know, I told, I told Silvers, like, I want to do a proper review, so it might take a little bit of time. I think maybe has been like two or three months that I've had these coilovers driven to uh, drift events. So far, you know, I love them. The main thing that I wanted from these coilovers was to get rid of my body roll. I had a lot of that in my last set of coilovers. Um, I just didn't think that they were stiff enough or whatever it may be, but these definitely fixed it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll put the clip of me driving on these and they just feel so much better. It feels like your weight, your energy actually transfers when you transfer and drift, um, like when you flick, it just overall feels a whole lot better. I wish that I, I would have got my reaction the first time that I drove my car um, whenever I installed these coilovers. I think I made a TikTok and I mentioned that my car actually felt like it had like some true support. And uh, you know, like it felt so much better in turns, um, so much better on the street when it would hit a bump like before my car would almost bottom out. Um, now it just feels great. I think in the video that the TikTok I made, I actually mentioned that um, my car before felt like it was like a newborn deer. Like, you know, when they get out and their legs are like weak, that's how it felt. It felt like, felt like I was just trying to, a deer like walking on two legs. But yeah, they, they, they just feel, it feels so much better. Like now my, my car feels like one solid piece of metal, you know, like, I don't know how to like describe it. Like it feels like it's got a, a truly good foundation. Drift wise, like it performed so well on track, did what I needed it to do. You know, got its, it's got dampening support or dampening adjustment. And I think I'm, I have it at like, I turned it all the way to the max and then brought it back down too. So, I mean, I could go higher, but feels really good. I'm so happy with the way that they ride. I swear that it just overall, like I'm not boosting it. I'm not boosting these coilovers, but it just feels, it just made the entire car more enjoyable. Truly, truly happy with the way these ride. We're gonna jump back over to the chair. All right, so now that we're done driving, um, we can get into the price. Um, let me actually check how much these are. Do, 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 do. All right, so they've got it set right now on their website for $1,299, so $1,300. Um, 
that to me is, you know, that's not, I'm not going to sit here and say like, ah, oh, that's cheap. That's a lot of money, but I can guarantee you guys that you are paying, you are getting what you pay for. Like if you want to pay $300 for coilovers, just know that's what you're paying for, you know? Um, but if you want something nice, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you know, give up that coin, save your coin and everything that's worth doing takes time. So price, I, I think it's very fair. And then something that I really, really loved about working with silvers and, and, you know, ordering from them was their shipping time. The shipping time was crazy good. I've heard some crazy stuff from like, I, th I believe Broadway and maybe even BCs of people ordering and waiting like eight weeks. Bruh, eight weeks? I mean, I guess, but I don't know. What are they doing? Taking eight weeks off for Thanksgiving? You know, I don't know what's going on over there. I'm not trying to talk bad about, you know, why they take long for shipping. But if you order from Silvers, that's not the case. At least it wasn't for me. It's not just because they sent it to me for the video. I've heard from multiple other people that they've gotten their stuff really quick. So it only took about, I think, a week and a half, maybe a week um, to get to me. So I think definitely if you order, you're probably not going to wait more than two weeks. So that's super sick, you know, because I know you guys are probably just like me order something and you're super anxious to get it throw it on get your car low so yeah that's super fucking fire and then their customer service was dope like they've got you know their sales email where i think it's like sales at silvers na.com or whatever it may be but when you go to their website you know and you try to hit contact us and you get their email um when you email them they will respond to you and i i'm pretty sure they will respond to you within the same day if not, you know, one or two business days. So um, having good customer service is always a plus for me. I'm telling you, I am the most indecisive person ever. And they, you know, I, I didn't really even know like what spring rate I wanted, you know, if I wanted to go super low or whatever. And they were like, you know, helping me out through that the whole time with the email. So if you have any questions, you can email them and they will work with you. I really enjoyed everything about the experience. Um, loving the coilover so far. And I forgot to mention, but um, I believe that I'm on 12K rear. I believe I'm 12K front, 10K rear. Let me actually check this email. All right. So, yeah, that's exactly what I'm on. 12K fronts and 10K rears. So, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, if there's anything that I didn't touch on that you guys, you know, may still be on the fence about or something that you're concerned about, just comment down below and I promise I'll reply. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that like. If you guys enjoyed so much that you want to stick around and not miss out on any videos, hit that big red square. I forgot what color it was for a second. Um, and yeah, hit that bell and then you'll be like, you know, you'll be notified and you'll be at work and you'll be like, oh damn, he just posted a video. Like I'm gonna go watch it right now. Like I don't care what I'm doing at work, but yeah, that's what you guys should do. But um, I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. And I appreciate you guys sticking around to the end. Deuces. Yeah. But I know that I'll be back. Yeah. Did you help me relax? Yeah. I keep on folding.